Hi YouTube, my name is Steve Bonin. Welcome to Urban DIY, where we are devoted to working in small spaces. Let's get on with it. Hi there YouTube, Steve Bonin, Urban DIY. Today we are going to build this uh, stop block, uh, ruler gauge, um, I don't know what you call it. But anyway, it slides along the ruler, you lock it down, and it stays locked. So this is uh, made from scrap uh, Baltic birch that I have laying around, uh, some brass screws, a piece of dowel, a couple bolts, uh, any kind of aluminum that you might have around the shop that you can fold unless it's exactly the right thickness and um, and we're going to finish it with um, burning wood finish I don't know what you call it it sounds like Sula bond or uh, <laughs> cerulean bond I don't know anyway uh, that's what we're going to do so uh, let's get at her so this is my second attempt at this project. The uh, the first one terribly wrong. I broke screws and I was using cheap epoxy and it uh, didn't hold and a variety of things. So anyway, I um, I do refer to the other project during uh, this video just so you know. Now let's get on with it. Okay. I have another scrap of uh, Baltic birch here. Oh, first try. How about that? Okay. So, uh, that corner is square. So, that's the one we're going to use. I'm going to set up the saw for uh, four inches. Okay, I am just uh, measuring one and a half inches here. Okay, to start with, I hope you can see this. The ruler is one thirty second of an inch and so you can see that the uh, the aluminum is one sixty fourth of an inch. So what I'm going to do, what I propose, is I'm going to cut some aluminum. I'm going to fold it into thirds, and um, that will give us a, a little bit of leeway in our build. The reason I'm using the aluminum is create this track that the ruler sits in and uh, if uh, if we make it out of wood it's going to wear um, there are other ways to do it with little insets and stuff but they look that looks difficult fiddly so I'm going to fold the aluminum and because uh, that's easy and we should get nice straight lines when we fold it and hopefully three of them will just be perfect. Let's get on with it. Okay, having used these two pieces of wood uh, last time to bend my aluminum, I, uh, I thought I would uh, just create a little jig to, uh, to do that with. So... Um, just bear with me while I put this together. It should only take a minute.
Okie dokie. Okay, I'll just zoom in here. And um, as you can see, I put a piece of aluminum between two pieces of wood, sacrificial pieces of wood, to uh, just get a nice straight edge to start with. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's see if this works. They say it works. I've clamped it down. Go for broke. Hopefully a nice square edge, it looks like it. So I'm just testing the squareness of the aluminum. Well, I'm measuring about half the width of the block um, for my first fold. This is far more than I need, but I'm just going to trim it all off um, in the final step. Okay. So it would be really great to have some hold downs here. our first one. Okay, I've what I've done is I've pushed that bottom edge past the edge of this and I'm going to use this square on its edge to push it back flush to the edge all the way along. So that 
is a nice straight edge. It should be 364ths of an inch thick. There we are, 364ths. We'll just so I'm just going to cut this. Those two pieces should sit something like this. That slides very nicely. So the idea is to position these two pieces of aluminum aluminum right up against the edge of the ruler to keep it running true. So let's get to it. I really like using shims uh, for gluing. They they offer just the the right balance between uh, flexibility and rigidity. You can lay the glue down at a specific okay, thickness, get the good edge. and you can uh, scrape it off if you have that to. That one, that one there. I guess we can. We have some open time here. Hmm. I think I'll do it this way. I should mention here that I scuffed the aluminum with some 80 grit sandpaper just to help with adhesion. Okay, that guy's, oops, that guy's square to the block. And put the ruler in. And get that one square to the ruler.
that's the end of part one, folks. Uh, next time in part two, we should get to uh, drilling the wood, uh, getting the jig put together, and maybe even getting to trimming off the excess uh, aluminum. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Check out these other videos.